Hi guys, I'm going to read another book for you today. And it's another elephant and piggy book. And it's called, There's a Bird on Your Head. And the author is Mo Willems. That's who wrote the book. So let's make a prediction. What do you think this book is going to be about? I see piggy, I see elephant, I see a bird. Does elephant look very happy that a bird is on his head? I don't know, let's see. There's the bird, he's flying, flying down. <gasps> elephant says, piggy! Elephant says, is something on my head? Piggy says, yes. Piggy says, there's a bird on your head. <gasps> Elephant says, there's a bird on my head? Elephant says, is there a bird on my head now? Hmm. Piggy says, no. But look, now there's more birds. There's, let's count together. There's one, two, two birds. Piggy says, now there are two birds on your head. Elephant says, what are two birds doing on my head? Piggy says, oh, they're in love. Do you see the little heart? Elephant says, the birds on my head are in love? He says, they are love birds. Love birds? Elephant says, how do you know they are lovebirds? Oh, look at what they're doing. Piggy says, they are making a nest. See, they're making a nest on top of the elephant's head. Elephant says, two lovebirds are making a nest on my head? Elephant says, why would two birds make a nest on my head? Hmm. Oh. Elephant says, I'm afraid to ask. I think he felt something happen on his head. He says, do I have an egg? on my head. <gasps> Piggy's looking. Do you see any eggs? I see some eggs. Let's count together. One, two, three. Three eggs. Piggy says, one, two, There are three eggs on your head. Piggy was counting. Elephant says, I do not want three eggs on my head. Oh, and then Piggy says, hmm, then I have good news. Elephant says, the eggs are gone? Mm, Piggy says, the eggs are hatching. Oh my goodness. Let's see, what does that mean when eggs are hatching? That means they're starting to crack. What do you think is going to come out? Mm. Hatching! Elephant says, oh, the eggs on my head are hatching. Let's see, the eggs are going to turn into... <gasps> Little 
little baby birds. They say cheep, cheep, cheep. Piggy says, they have hatched. Oh, does the elephant look happy? He doesn't look so happy to have three baby birds and two lovebirds on his head. Elephant says, now I have three baby chicks on my head? Ugh. Piggy says, and two lovebirds and a nest. He says, I do not want three baby chicks, two birds, and a nest on my head. What do you think the elephant could do? Do you think he could ask them maybe to build a nest somewhere else? Piggy says, where do you want them if not on your head? The elephant says, somewhere else. Elephant says, why not just ask them to go somewhere else? Hmm. Elephant says, ask them? Piggy says, yes, just ask them. Ask them nicely to go somewhere else. Oh, Elephant says, okay, I will try asking. Says, excuse me, birds, will you please go somewhere else? What do you think they're gonna say since he asked so nicely? Are they going to say yes or are they going to say no? Daddy bird says, no problem. Elephant says, it worked. And the birds are saying, bye. They're moving their nest somewhere else. Oh, elephant says, now there are no birds on my head. Elephant says, thank you, piggy. Thank you very much. He looks so happy. And look, there's Piggy. Oh, he says, you are welcome. Look, now the birds in the nest are on Piggy's head. That's so silly. So it's important when we want someone to do something, instead of getting frustrated, we just ask, right? We ask nicely. Can you please go do something? Or can you please move your toys? We can ask our parents nicely and our brothers and sisters nicely and our friends nicely, right? It's important to ask nicely. So in this book, we talked a little bit about birds. So I wonder if you go outside and look out your window, do you see any birds out there? Do you see any trees with nests in them maybe? Hmm, I wonder. Now I want you to go and tell someone at your house, someone in your family, what this book was about what was important that we learned from this book. And it's a good way to practice your counting, right? You can count with me. We counted the, the two love birds and the three baby chicks. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.